Spurge here, and in this video, we are gonna break down the new AGV K3 helmet. So this is going to be the newest iteration of the outgoing K3 SV. The SV just stood for sun visor. This one is gonna retain the internal sun visor. The nomenclature is just going away. So this is a new AGV K3. The old K3 was a little bit long in the tooth. So what we're seeing now is an updated version of a very popular helmet within AGV's line. For reference, I have the Valentino Rossi graphic on the outgoing K3 SV on the table next to me. The too long didn't read for this is that there are some sizing changes that we'll address. This is getting the new ECE 2206 safety rating and the style on the outside of the helmet has changed. The old one was very aggressive. You had this hawk's bill. The, the problem with this is you'd set the helmet down and it would do just that. It would just kind of like wobble back and forth. It was just very overly aggressive for what this helmet really was. The newer one just kind of modernizes the style a little bit. Still very sleek and sporty in its look, but not nearly as aggressive with the hawk's bill over here. So I'm gonna remove this from the table in just a minute, but I wanna leave it up just as we reference a few things in this. So the new helmet is coming in around the $260 to $270 price point, um, depending on the colors or the graphics. It's about $30 to $40 up from what the outgoing K3 was going for. But really, when you're looking at the world of inflation that we are playing in now, not a crazy price increase. This is still sub $300 for the majority of the American market out there. So when we're talking about this helmet, let's just dive into some of the facts first and foremost. This is a helmet that you're looking as an all-arounder. Maybe you're riding a sport bike, maybe you're riding a sport naked, maybe you're riding a Harley-Davidson Sportster. Um, it really is just a bit of a do-everything helmet that is a bit more affordably priced than some of the more aggressive AGV helmets that we see out there on the market. And a lot of that price savings is coming in from the fact this is a thermoplastic shell. There are three shell sizes now, that's new. The outgoing version only had two shells. The sizing nomenclature has changed, however. What we're seeing across all of AGV's line is they're getting rid of that medium, large, large, medium sizing that was very confusing for a lot of people. And they're just going with the regular extra small, small, large, medium, yada, yada, yada. So three shell sizes, smallest shell is gonna be extra small to small. Then the second shell size is medium to large. And then you have a extra large and a 2XL for the top shell size. Like I said, DOT and ECE 2206, three intake vents. We're gonna talk about how the intake vents have changed. If you're looking at this side by side, you'll see the new version has a much larger vent, still just vents to the face shield, but you're getting three intake, two exhaust vents, three pounds, 10 ounces in a medium, pretty much the exact same as what we saw in the previous version, maybe like a one or two ounce difference there, depending on whether you're looking at a medium large or a medium small in the in the previous version. I'm just shaking my hands because again, that, that outgoing nomenclature was always confusing even to me. So we are definitely not seeing a, a huge increase in weight here. It's relatively the same. And then from a sizing standpoint, from a fitment standpoint rather, and there's two different things there. So we talk about sizing, we're talking about whether you're getting a large or a small, we're talking about fitment, we're talking about the internal shape of the helmet and how that matches with the exterior shape of your noodle. If you're not sure what we're talking about here, you can check out our how to size and buy helmet guide. But this helmet is definitely gonna be intermediate to neutral oval. So it's not a true intermediate oval helmet. It is a little bit more on the round side. We're not gonna call this full on round, but definitely a little bit more room on the side of the head and a little bit shorter front to back. Um, so if you are somebody that needs a little bit more room in the side, uh, you know, maybe your head is a little bit more leaning towards that round shape, that is gonna be the internal fit for this. So talking about some of the changes before I pull the old one off, First thing you'll notice is the vent change, the vent change on the front of this, also the vent change up top. So the outgoing one had three vents. You had a large vent up on the top of the forehead, actually probably back a lot farther than the forehead, really the top of the head on this. And then you had these side vents. What I will say is the, the side vents on the outgoing version just actuated a lot smoother. This new one, they're not quite as easy to use, especially with motorcycle gloves on. So I would say, you know, you can, you can still do it while the helmet's on your head, but probably not something you wanna be reaching up and kind of fiddling with whilst riding. Uh, I would say set your vents where you want them before you ride. And then the chin vent on this still just vents to the face shield. So not a tremendous amount of air blowing into the chin. It really just helps to keep the face shield from fogging. Pin lock insert, pin lock ready. Face shield does include that pin lock insert in the box. Face shield has also been redesigned slightly as well. 
probably won't notice it right you know, away just from looking at side by side, but the, the face shield has been redesigned just ever so slightly on this. You're still getting the little pop up there for the, the city position, so just a little bit of air kind of pushing through. And then you know, some nice detents in the face shield itself, and then you can kind of, kind of keep it in the upper position. Like the gasket on this, and I do like the, uh, the removable system. You just pull down and it pops right off, and then you just kind of push it back in with it in the up position. So you get the helmet all the way, or you get the face shield all the way up. Very easy to swap shields if you want to, but there is the drop down sun visor on this, and that's the other change. If you're looking at the outgoing version, there was this big, red kind of bulky tab on the side and you can see what i'm talking about even with this just kind of sitting on the helmet on the, on the table it's very hard it doesn't want to sit flat um, but you had this big red tab over on the left hand side to actuate the, the, the drop down sun shield on this the new version is kind of uh I'm, I'm taking this helmet off the table i've shown you all the comparisons uh the rocking is too much so we're taking that off the uh the drop down sun visor on this is now down on the bottom side. Only real critique here is that if you're using a comm system, you either need to use one that kind of sticky mounts to the side of the helmet, or you have to move it a little bit further back on the helmet so you're not getting in the way of the, uh, the actuator for the drop down sun visor with this. But overall, I like the, uh, the style and the aesthetic. Most of the changes that have been made here will not affect customers that liked the previous version. Again, the biggest change that's notably different is the ventilation on this isn't quite as sophisticated as on the previous version. But what I'll say is from a style perspective, I like the fact that they removed that top vent. It's gonna cut down on noise a little bit. And it was, uh, it was just a weird placement for that to begin with and I didn't like the way it looked. So definitely a, a, a kind of a pro con situation there. One of the things that I, I wasn't a fan of, and this is really something that's gonna divide a lot of the market is they switch from a double D-ring to a ratchet strap. I am not a fan of ratchet strap helmets. I feel like it fits a bit bulky and you can kind of just feel it there. I, I much prefer a double D-ring. Some people like this from a simplicity standpoint. You kind of ratchet in and then you just pull to undo, um, but definitely something that is divisive as we have learned in the motorcycle community. Uh, as we take a look at the inside of this, simple interior, nothing too drastic as far as changes go here pull this out, you can see the uh, the cheek pads do kind of go back around a little bit further, lock into the back of the helmet than what we've seen from some of the cheek pads at this price point, and nice comfortable fit. What I will say too is we talked about the, um, the mounting points for a comm system on the outside. You are gonna get speaker cutouts and there are little foam inserts. So if you're using this without a comm system, you can leave the foam inserts in there and you're not really gonna notice anything, but if you wanna pull them out, you can go ahead and just remove them. There's a little bit of uh, sticky material on the back, but it's a big, thick foam insert. I like the fact that the, the speaker cutouts are, are channeled down in uh, relatively deep enough that you should be able to fit even the more modern comm systems without having to, uh, to feel like they're pushing against you. Um, what we're seeing now with a lot of the modern comm systems, if you're not aware, the speakers are a bit thicker to allow for more fulfilling audio experience. Taking a look at the removable interior, uh, no snaps in the front, brow mounts, uh, very specific in where they mount. So one of the things that I've seen with some of the manufacturers that we've looked at in, in 2023 is they're changing the way that brow mounts fit in so that they are a bit more secure. In the past, they just kind of slid in and you had to line them up a very specific way. There's three main points for the brow mount to, to fasten in there so you get a really secure fit, but still no pressure points to worry about at the front of the head. And where you do see snaps at the back, big thick cushioning, so you really shouldn't worry about feeling anything push into the back of your head. So again, new unique design in how this is mounting into the shell itself. And just taking a look at the inside on this, you can see the channels that are cut out from the front to the back to help put airflow through the helmet. Not super deep compared to what we've seen from some other manufacturers, but definitely deeper than you know some of the cheaper helmets out there. And will still push a ton of airflow through the helmet to make sure that you are staying relatively cool in the warmer months of the year. So the too long didn't read once again is just some, some nice notable updates for the K3. If you're looking at this and you're thinking, well, you know what, maybe I wanna spend a little bit more money, maybe I wanna jump up. Uh, the K6 has just been revamped from AGV. The K6 is just an absolute killer helmet. You are gonna lose that drop down sun visor 
um, but you're gonna you're gonna change some of the features. You get a helmet that's a little bit lighter, a little bit more aggressive. Probably definitely a step up from this, but a bit of a different helmet as well. And that helmet's coming in around the $550 price point. So again, if you're looking more at that sub $300 mark, uh, the AGV K3 replacing the K3 SV is the one that you would want to consider within AGV's line. Now, if you want more information on this helmet. You want to hear what other riders have to say, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, you can read other rider reviews, and you can uh, you know, see what other people are saying about this helmet as they put it through its paces. If you still have more questions as to which helmet is right for you and your riding style, you can reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through all the helmets available to make sure you have the right lid for your riding style as well as for your budget. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the AGV K3. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.